So I'm going to introduce myself. I'm uh, General John Hyten, uh, the commander of U.S. Strategic Command. That's a command of about 162,000 Americans who do all the nuclear operations, submarines, bombers, ICBMs, all the space operations, electronic warfare, a very big command with a very large scope of responsibility. That's what I do. Uh, my dad worked on the Saturn V and uh, because of that, uh, I got to meet Von Braun when I was a kid. I got to meet a lot of the astronauts. I got to watch the Saturn test and, and that all that came together with a lot of great teachers to get me into Harvard University. Uh, but I couldn't really pay for it, so the Air Force paid for me to go to Harvard University. Uh, graduated, uh, came into the Air Force and have had a pretty amazing ride. I never planned to be in this long. It was four years and get out, but that was 37 years ago when I graduated Harvard. I would say the, the most important thing to do is uh, if you love school and you study hard, the entire world opens up for you. And when you're in middle school, sometimes it's hard to realize that because you like to get out and play. I mean, I like to play sports. I like to play with uh, uh, my friends and do all those kind of things. But man, I learned to love school. And because I learned to love school and the Air Force actually values education, uh, they kept giving me more schools. And each time I learned more and I loved that experience and it opened up all kinds of new opportunities for me. So when you're, when you're in middle school, it's hard to realize that, you know, learning is actually one of the most fun things you can ever figure out how to do. And when you learn that learning is fun, man, life just gets a whole lot easier. Well, uh, I think maybe the biggest obstacle is I'm blind. Uh, literally, I take off my glasses, I can't see you or the camera or anything else. Uh, I had spinal meningitis when I was a kid and uh, somehow after that, my eyesight went just horribly bad. I, mean, I was healthy otherwise and I could correct the 2020 uh, and so the Air Force took me, which was a miracle. But I could never fly. I could never be a pilot. I couldn't be an astronaut. That was my dream, to be an astronaut. That, there, that just couldn't happen. But again, because I was good at math and science, I could be an engineer. And it's amazing what you can get to do if you're a decent engineer. So, you know, if you can't communicate, you can't, uh, you can't drive change. If you can't communicate, you can't uh, get people uh, on your side. If you can't communicate, you can't demonstrate ideas. And if you have some great ideas, you want to share those ideas. But if you can't communicate, the ideas stay in your head and they're stuck. So you have to learn how to write. You have to learn how to speak. And I'm the most uh, introverted person I know. I hate doing this stuff. I hate speaking in public. But I learned a long time ago, if I don't learn how to speak in public, uh, I will never be successful in, in what I've chosen to do. You can learn a huge amount by looking at what people did before. And then don't just apply it blindly, but learn what worked and what didn't work. And I think one of the biggest advantages is that when you read back in history, you read about failures and how failures didn't stop people. They actually learned from their failures and applied the learning and were able to quickly go fast when they needed to.